Hello everyone, this is a recap for last week. We did a mail merge to labels, and I'm going to do it quickly. If you want to know more, just go back to our last email, and we're going to create a new document, blank. Of course, and we're going to do the mail merge, start mail merge, step by step. We're going to do labels, starting document, label options. Remember, we chose the 18660 Easy Peel address labels for every US letter. We're going to select our recipients. And that was. PC user nerd. And we selected our personal, say, sample contact list, sheet one. And there's our names here. And what I'm going to show you today is how to add your logo to your mail merge labels. But first, we're going to add our titles, citation and space, first name, middle initial, space, last name, enter, address, enter, city, comma, state. And zip code and then we're going to add our little logo so whatever logo you decided to design just going to go to the insert menu add my picture and go ahead and add my picture it can be anything that you choose to use and of course you want to adjust it here and what you're going to do is you're going to take your left your mouse and you're going to hold and click your right mouse key just click once and we're going to do wrap text let's do square and it looks like it went evenly over or maybe not let's do tight tight look like it worked and we're going to go back to mailings and update our labels and here we have our codes and our codes includes all labels and what we're going to do is arrange our labels and preview. And then we have our full names, but of course, this is going to be saved and you'll have a lot more names to include your logo. So next time you save your document, which is this, you'll already have a properly set up mail merge label with your logo. Again, thank you for stopping by to PC User Nerd. Donna L. Holloman here. For any questions, comments, or concerns, please enter that information in our comment box on our YouTube channel, and we will look at it for future training purposes. Thank you again for stopping by, and don't forget to subscribe.